everybody and welcome back to Betty and Leon. It's early, it's 5am and it's also over. What do I mean by that? Well, let's watch these first credits and then I'll dig you into all the details of why it's over. How's the engine work going, Grant? It's going good. Betty's Rotary Heart, and this is mine. Get your t-shirt at bettyandleon.com. It doesn't say bettyandleon.com on the back. I know. But that's yeah. still hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody and welcome back. I don't really know how to start this video because it's kind of positive but kind of negative. And I'll start with kind of the negative bits first because I like to get the negative out of the way. Essentially what's happened over the last sort of couple of weeks and this is the reason why you wouldn't have seen a video from us for like literally three weeks. Um, essentially where the barn find was, you know, the 808, well, the other cars that were in there, they remained in there. Like we never moved them from the property. But today, with very short notice, the time has come for us to move those cars on. And over the last sort of two weeks, I've been in a hellish mode as well as Rob's been in a crazy panic to try and find some more space for all these cars. So on my end I've basically remodeled the hole underneath of my house which it'll get us by. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it's gonna get us by but it's far from ideal. Um, I thought this day was gonna come sort of in six to twelve months time so I was looking to sort of sell my house and move to something bigger with a decent shed and get back to a hoist and you know all that sort of stuff so that's still the plan um, but you know you can't have everything your way all the time I suppose and yeah it's just caught us out a little bit too early so anyway it doesn't matter we've still got enough room to put all the cars underneath there so today I'm literally gonna be moving two cars um, each day and it's about you know, nine to 10 hour, sort of, nine to 10 hours, yeah, of, of driving, let alone the unloading, unloading, and, and stuff like that. So, i uh, got a couple of big days ahead. Rob's super busy doing some other stuff, so he can't help out, but that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta get in and get her done. Um, so that's the sort of negative side of it, you know, it, it was a bit unplanned and it's gonna be a bit messy, but, I think the positives of it are really gonna show for us. I think, you know, having the cars in Brisbane, I always lose two hours. I drive to Rob's, I work on the cars and I have to drive two hours home or, or whatever happens there. And for me, that's just inefficient and lost time. You know, imagine those two hours where I can just walk underneath my house, pull something apart, film it, put it back together, you know, and, and go upstairs again. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think that's a really, it's gonna be a really nice thing for the channel in that I can push out some videos probably a bit quicker because I've got the cars sitting right in front of me. Um, and there's also times where, you know, another positive is that there's a lot of stuff that I wanna, say, redesign and upgrade and do stuff like that and show you guys while I do it. But if I don't have the parts in front of me, it's very hard to ask someone else to say, hey, can you measure this? Or can you look at that? Or you can do this, you know, like, so that's gonna be another awesome little thing just for the progression of, you know, the engineering on the cars, I, I hope is gonna sort of get propelled forward by this move too. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. These are cars that you haven't seen before. And I will do a little bit of a sort of, I guess an episode, maybe per car, or potentially just go through each of the cars on their own um, in one full episode. They're awesome cars. Like there's, there's one that's very close to being back on the road again. And if you've seen my Facebook, then you probably know that there's a few little bits waiting for it. And um, yeah, I, I kinda really can't wait to get that car on the road. I think it's gonna be super cool. So anyway, enough talking. Thanks for all the new subscribers that have just subscribed. Um, you're awesome. Stick around, you'll have fun with us. You know, don't forget the merch. We do put a lot of effort into that. You know, I. Honestly, I draw them myself. I create those designs. I do all the Shopify. Like, 
I'm a one man band. And that doesn't mean you should buy it. You should buy it because it's awesome and it's cool. But I think they are. And I like wearing them. So it's just a shame I'm not wearing it today. I didn't want to damage it. But um, yeah, we'd really appreciate any sort of merch sales, any people subscribing, and anybody just watching. You know, we really do appreciate that. So anyway, enough of me talking. Let's get to some awesome cars because they are sweet. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. I've been to the house grabbed the first one I'm not into showing people's houses or where they live so just parked on the side of the, the highway and uh, here she is in all her glory series 1 RX2 the legit the real deal looks like it was pulled out of Outback Australia and um, yeah why don't we go throw some 20 B's into this thing hey and we'll just roll around some of that that may be a joke that may not be a joke we'll have to find out hey but uh, a lot of body, body work to be done on it. She's quite rusty, um, but not in the spots that are painful. So, you know, there's a bit around the windshield and stuff like that. Um, engine bay, you know, looks rusty, but it's actually not. Like a bit of a bead blast and it'll, it'll come good. So, um, basically all my RX2 bits are also inside it. And um, yeah, sweet little rig. I think they're Series 1 RX-7 wheels that are on it. So they don't fit real well, but they do the deal. And um, I'll do a bit more of a, a breakdown on this car. We'll look into it a bit more detail. We'll clean it up um, just to preserve it for a bit longer uh, under my house when we put it away. So that'll be in some, some of the following videos. But this one's just a little teaser to show you one of the cars that we got coming back home today. Sweet! Rock and roll, car number two. KE11 Toyota Corolla SL Coupe. Look at that, sweet as. Very nice little car. Um, it's actually caged and it's the Taco on the dash model. It's caged for Group NC historic touring cars. But I'd, like she, I'd actually like to see it put back on the road because I think it's way too nice to be a race car. And um, it's a 3KB motor, so it's got it's got the twin carbies in it, which is pretty awesome. So we'll do a bit more of a run through with this guy when we get back home. And um, yeah, I love it. I think it's awesome. And on our next adventure, we've got a another Series 1 RX2. This is pretty cool. It's got some RX8 seats in it, front and back. And painted in orange so the paint job's all right not gonna lie it probably needs to be redone because you've got sort of i don't know if you can see that in it but you know it's got got a few bubbles in it and stuff like that but the body itself is very rust free and is a mint little car so came with a lot of bits and pieces in it the boots full just another project to add to the pile guys another project 